Police reform continues to be a priority for lawmakers this legislative session here in Utah. Two more bills addressing problem cops were filed today. Fox 13's Haley Higgins reports from the Capitol. Well, today's newest bills would make it easier for someone to file suit against an officer, but make it more difficult for an officer to sue a former employer. We want to root out the bad apples, in other words. Legislation continues rolling into the Utah Capitol. Tuesday, Representative Brian King introduced a bill allowing police officers and their departments to be sued when the plaintiff's rights are egregiously violated. Balance the scales evenly to require accountability and personal responsibility from the police officers while at the same time make it difficult for people to file frivolous lawsuits against them get anywhere with that. In turn, each law enforcement officer in the state must be insured for any possible litigation. It's unfortunate because it's causing a lot of angst amongst Utah's police officers and their families. While Representative King insists he is not anti-law enforcement, the Utah Fraternal Order of Police Executive Director argues officers are being unfairly singled out. That kind of big, complicated bill is going to require a lot more than just a quiet middle-of-the-night launch where he won't even take in the lived experiences and concerns of police officers and their families. The state's largest police union collaborated with Senator Janie Iwamoto's latest bill. SB 196 protects law enforcement if they share information about an officer to another agency, specifically during the hiring process. This is just to allow for the free flowing of talk without being worried they're going to get sued for saying something because we want to know if there's a, you know, a black bad peace officer. Well, both bills are just getting their start here at the Capitol, but if you'd like to take a look at them, we have a link on fox13now.com. Reporting at the Capitol, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.